ready to roll. completely different like you said last year was year one I was honestly overwhelmed <laughs> meeting people uh, I just remember having to wait for people to put their jerseys on so I could try and remembering some names and then putting the faces to the names but this year is completely different on that aspect you know I know almost everyone from coaches to front office to you guys to players so it's completely different and now I'm the guy trying to help the new guys remembering who we are. First big league spring training was in 2018. It was my first ever big league camp. I was 22 years old. I just say eyes wide open. I wanted to show up early so I wouldn't miss anything. And you know, I used to hear from other veterans player like you always want to make sure that you're early. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to upset anybody. So I really took that to the heart. And as you can see, I still, I still carry that with me. I want to show up early. See, that kind of music, I wouldn't have it in my car. <laughs> Dave went to the house and we're ready back. We're itching to go. We're back, baby. We're back. Feeling great, really. Feeling ready to go. Excited for this season. We got a great team. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Good start. Welcome everybody. All right, welcome everybody. I'll start with same thing I start with every year. Number one priority when we walk in this building. Number one priority when we walk into Target Field. Number one priority when we walk into St. Paul. Number one priority on our minds all the time is winning baseball games. Very important, dress code. Spring training, there is no dress code. But during the season, if you think you look good, you look good. If I think you look bad, you have a serious problem. Okay, we're pretty relaxed. We're pretty relaxed. If you are this man, if you are this man wearing this shirt and you play hard, you're good. You're good, okay? I think you're good if you would at anything. <laughs> Be yourselves, play your asses off. We're gonna have a great season. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys out there, all right? Don't pull out all my hair, man. I still, I don't have much left. Uh, I was looking forward to, you know, getting back here and seeing the guys and having fun with them. We have most everybody back from last year. I uh, lost a few pieces like Blanco and uh, not and Michael Taylor and guys like that in Solano, but um, for the most part we have our core back and we're excited about it. And you know, just fun to get back to baseball. The off season was fast, that's for sure. Spring 2024 is a, a build off of 2023 in a lot of ways. I, you can feel it downstairs with the players. You, know, you don't gain any uh, wins from the previous season. 23 is over, but there's a lot to be proud of, a lot that we grew from. A lot of young players that got better and improved every day. And now this is a chance to, to kind of take that moment and that end of the season, the chance to win in the postseason, and, and build momentum toward finding a way to win, get right back there, and ultimately get beyond there. Our footwork is all going to be the same because I think it's the best footwork, okay? Your footwork is going to work like this. And we're going to do this a lot during BP, so you're going to have plenty of time to work on. You're going to lead with your right foot. You're going to go one, two, three. Your right foot, as it comes down again, is almost hovering above the ground just as the contact is going to be made at the plate. I'll do it again, I'll do it again, okay? It's going to work like this. Right, left, right. I was real okay. anxious the week leading up to me getting down here in the flight. Uh, I packed my bags to come down here like a month before. 
Um, and I was just real excited. Once I got here to see all the guys and, and the staff here, uh, I knew it was going to be a good year. I get to see my brothers again. Like it's been three months of, you know, not seeing them, missing them. And like I said, I was anxious to get here because I just wanted to hang out again. And uh, when I come to the field, yes, we work really hard, but at the same time, it's fun because I love this. So uh, I, I love every minute of it. You know, these nights are very special, I think, to bring everybody together on the front end of the season. Hey. Oh, oh, come on! Tell me you got that. <laughs> come on. I said, yeah! <laughs> wow! Louie, you gotta explain to the camera why you use the small putter. I'm using the small putter, shorter, less levers, more control. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, get me in the show with Kaylee. <laughs> Is this for the diamond? It's it's really special. The the vibe, the energy that you all are creating that you established last year. Excited to be a part of. I think Royce, we entered this spring training and you talk about what 2024 has felt like that's different. Last year he entered, he wasn't quite done with his rehab. He was still working through his ACL return. Byron was working through some of his challenges and, and hopefully building towards some, some DH opportunity early. Uh, and Carlos had just come in through a, a unique and tumultuous off season. This year they all come in with normal off seasons, with great winters, with the preparation that they're, they're used to and ultimately get back into that routine. So now when I see them on the field, I just see baseball players. I just see guys that want to go out and lead and play baseball games. And that's ultimately what we're looking for. Royce is going to join those guys among many others and, and hopefully lead a, a really talented, dynamic offense. You know, it's huge because when you face someone like Pablo or Duran and you know they got wipeout stuff, strikeout stuff especially, uh, that's the best of the best up there right there. So anytime I can face them and, and get some knowledge and understand like, hey, I need to see where this pitch moves so it's a strike and I'm not swinging out of the zone. Uh, like, for example, Pablo Sweeper, if it doesn't start at my hip, it's probably you know, going to be a, a strikeout pitch for him. And that's what he got a lot of people to do last year. And he'll probably continue to do it this year because he got me. To me, at least, that, that get me chasing. And I felt like I took a good swing at it and fouled it off. Spoil it. Yeah. It was two balls off. Yeah, it was probably two balls off. Yeah. That's why I feel confident. And the next one, I was like, too. You yeah. reach a lot. Yeah, I reach a lot. And then, and then uh, to hit that one and barrel it, yeah, it was high. Two strikes. I just like where I'm covering. Boom. Boom. Yeah. That first pitch is probably in a game. I'm probably swinging that first pitch. Sit down. You know, I'm, I'm always learning, and for me to be able to uh, have the opportunity against those guys, uh, it's a blessing. I, I always thank them after, and the exchange is very easy. You know, it's like, hey, your stuff's nasty, man. <laughs> like, uh, you know, what, what do you have for me? What are you seeing from me up there? Uh, am I tipping that I'm, like, pulling off the ball, or uh, what are you trying to do? Um, and so to have those exchanges and learn from that, uh, from the pitcher side of things and then from the hitter side of things for the pitchers, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your brother. For me personally, show the world who Royce Lewis is. Um, you know, I think I've shown that as a person. Uh, but now it's time to get going as a baseball player. And I'm really excited because uh, sky's the limit for me personally is what I believe. I feel like I work my butt off to continue to get better each year. And uh, I'm looking forward to showing my, not only the world, but myself uh, what I can do out there. On all facets of the game, but for this team, uh, the better part of this is uh, it's exciting, man. We got all the guys back. I think we're looking forward to con continuing our, our good run that we had last year uh, and going further because we could do that. We were right there. We were that close. Uh, I think we got the perfect team to do that. So we're, we're ready. But I know the axis, I believe, is like on my good ones, 215 to 230. So mine, Mine's like 146. What's your, what's your fastball? Like, are 12, you 1245? 1245, 1 o'clock. From 1245 to 115. So have you ever heard of uh, like guys curl their big toe? Have you ever heard of that with their changeup? So like they curl their big toe to to slow 
to get that velocity change. With this young group, this hungry group, and, and Pablo leading the way, um, I think the challenge that I have for us is, you know, lean on each other. There's going to be ups and downs, this roller coaster of a game, and uh, but at the same time, we have a special group. We we've we've we have that experience now. Um, you know, with Joe Ryan, he's had his ups and downs. I've had my ups and downs. Pablo's had his ups and downs, and I think as a group, we know what it takes now to not get too high, not get too low, and be that pitching staff that is the same same staff every single series. It's good stuff right there. Welcome back to the ballpark. Well, winter is officially over and baseball is back in Twins territory. I'm super excited to just, you know, be back out there on that rubber and out on that island alone and, and competing again. Uh, that's, at the end of the day, that's why we play this game is that's a feeling that we can't we can't simulate. We can try as much as we, we want and have this mindset of this, that, and the other, but actually going out there and seeing a big leaguer in the box and uh, you know you get that one-on-one -on -one competitive nature. One of my goals this year is to be present in the moment. You know, don't don't take an opportunity for granted. Don't get too far ahead and don't don't dwell on, on what already happened and just be present in the moment. And I've learned that from Pablo. He's one of the nicest human beings I've ever met but he's also a bulldog out there on his, on his night. And it's, it's pretty special to be, be both of those people. You know, he's the same guy every day. And I, I'm starting to learn that as I enter year number six in the big leagues. And uh, you know, this game is, is something special and I'm just excited to be a part of this group and, and do everything I can to help us win. Officially made a trade with the Minnesota Twins, sending over Manuel Margot as the headliner of this. Manny, okay, this is Derek Falvey, president of baseball ops of the Minnesota Twins. How are you? Oh, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm here with Jeremy Zoll, one of our assistant GMs. What's up, Manny? How you doing, man? Perfect. How's it going? Hey, we're. Uh, I know it's been a whirlwind day for you, but uh, we're excited to get you over here, back to Florida, and uh, Fort Myers. And I know you know some of the guys in the clubhouse, but. Really pumped to have you. We've seen you from a distance for a lot of years, and I think you're going to fit this club really well, fit really well in the clubhouse. Thanks. And I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, awesome. Well, it, it used to be that by the time you got to mid-February, you had your team, you were focused entirely in your camp, and that was it, right? You had your scouts out, and they were watching other teams play, um, but that was the way you focused your energies. Now, free agency and the trade markets, they aren't done, even after camp has opened. You had a long stretch from there to you know, flying here and then just him being able to show up today should, you know, tell you his character. Um, got traded yesterday and then getting on the plane and being here and basically asking, was he playing today? You know, like that's, <laughs> that's something you don't see very often. And um, like I said, that just shows who the person he is and the character that he has to uh, make us better. 